Hi everybody, my name is Alisa, and in this video I want to show you my solution and explain uh, how I solved lead code problem maximum nesting depth of the parentheses. Honestly, this specific problem took me way more time to understand what exactly the problem about than to solve it, because the solution is pretty simple and fast and quick to understand than the problem itself. So I'm not going to read too much the problem, I will, but just a part of it, and I will just explain what the problem is about and what exactly we need to solve, and then we just dive, dive right into writing the pseudocode and the code itself. So a string is a valid parenthesis string that we call VPS, if it meets one of the following. If the string is empty, or a single character that not equal to parentheses, basically left or right parentheses, it can be written as a B, or A, or it can be written as A, where A is a VPS. <coughs> Sorry, that's my dog. He's always angry. Mika, why are you angry? So, in this problem, basically what we need to find, we need to find the deepest string inside, in the, sorry, the deepest string inside the parentheses, and we need to find how deep is it. So here we have an example. This is our string, and we just need to start and count the parentheses. So let's, let's just start and count them as it is. So one, two, three, four. Here we have eight. This is a string. This is a string. And let's count the right side. One, two, three. So what do you think is the deepest uh, parentheses here. How much parentheses we need to count until we go to the deepest string. In this specific example it will be three and I will explain why. First of all, uh, as they said as they said here, basically um, the string that we count is a single character, it can be double character, couple characters, uh, or even an empty string inside parentheses that we have basically the left and the right parentheses around them, outside. So here, it doesn't count as parentheses. Two and three, it doesn't count as parentheses because they, they, they like by themselves alone, hanging out outside. They, they're not connected to the deepest, like to the parentheses of this specific string, of this specific string, which is eight. So if we count only the parentheses, only the depth, it will be one, two, and three, because this one, we just don't count them. And from other side, I also need to see if they close because I cannot just I, I cannot only open the parentheses, I need to also close them. So we open, we open, we open, one, two, three, we open three of the parentheses, and then we need to check if we actually close them. One, two, and three. So the deepest string here in the parentheses will be three. And in explanation, they also write down that digit eight is inside of three nested parentheses in the string. So it doesn't matter what kind of uh, test test case they will give us. All we need to do, and this is very simple, we just need to count the parentheses. We need to see if we open the parentheses and if we close them. If it was open and, clo and closed, like here with two and three, so we don't count them. That's all, and this is very simple. And let's start and write our pseudocode. So the first thing I want to do, I want to go through the string. Which my string is S. I want to go through the string. In the string, I want to count the parentheses. All the parentheses. I prefer to write just par, but... So I want to count all the parentheses. In order to count them, I will create a variable. I will call her the, the variable count or whatever. Count sounds a good name. I want to create a new variable to count the parentheses. And I will want and I want to create another variable that I will call her maximum number, and I will explain just in a second why do I need this and count together. Ah, oh, mad again. I'll create another variable 
four maximum number. Ooh. Ooh. So pretty simple. We have count variable, we have maximum number uh, variable, we want to go through the string and we want to count all of the parentheses. Now, why do we need maximum number if we already have count? Maximum number we need in case that we, we okay, let's go like this. We have the count, right? So we start to count the open, like the left side of the parentheses. So let's start count. One, two, three, four. I count only the left side, right? But when I'm counting, I also want to check if I actually close the parentheses. So when I go to the string, I will check if I open the parentheses and if I close them. So if I start counting, I will start 1 and 2. And then here I close the parentheses, so count will be minus 1. So it will come back to 1. Why do I need the maximum number? Because if I keep going like this, plus and minus, plus and minus, because we open and we close the parentheses and we have different test cases, I want to check all the time if count is greater than maximum number. If in any specific point the count will be greater than will be bigger than maximum number, so I will change the maximum number to count. And if it's not, it will stay the way it is. Sounds simple. And the code is pretty simple, so let's just write it down. Let me just clean it up. And let's just go through the pseudocode. I want to go through the string. In order to go through the string, we do it with for loop. So for i in string. Second thing, I want to count all of the parentheses. In order to count them, I want to create a new variable to count the parentheses. So let's call the variable count and it will equal to zero for now. And we want to create another variable and we call her maximum number. And it will equal to zero also, only for now. So when I'm going through the string, and this is the, the part when we start to count, I want to check if i equals to, we open the parentheses, if it equals to the left side, like to open the parentheses, then what we do, um, if, it, if, if i equals to opening the parentheses, we add to the count 1. So we always increase the count. If i equals to, we're closing the parentheses, so the count will go minus 1 because we don't count the open, the open parentheses anymore because we close them, right? Also, we have the maximum number. So the maximum number, we always need to check. If maximum number is less than count, then maximum number will be count. And at the end, we want to return the maximum number. Return maximum number. And actually, I don't need this space here. So let's go through the code once again. We have our string, which is our test case. We created two variables, count and maximum number. We're going through the string, and we check. If we open the parentheses, so we increase the count by one. If the maximum number is less than count, so the maximum number will equal to count. So if we started to count here 1, 2, 3, 4, and the count was 4, the maximum number will become 4. So it doesn't matter if after that I uh, decrease the count by 1, by 2, or by 3, the maximum number will still stay 4. And then at the, at the end, I'm returning the maximum number. So let's try and run our code, see if it works. And already here we have an error, and let's see why. If maximum number less than count, invalid syntax, why is the invalid syntax? Yeah, I forgot. The syntax is invalid. And what else? Let's see. Maximum number equals to count, yes. Oh gosh, why do we have so many syntax problems? Yeah, I forgot here too. Wow, what's up with me? 
Okay. It looks like it works. Let's try and submit it and see if we pass all of the test cases. And it looks like we are. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, please write them down. And also, you know what? Write down what do you think is the, the complexity of this algorithm. So have a nice day. Bye-bye.